All right, let's move over to the quarterbacks here, and we start with Justin Fields against the Vikings. Uh, Jay, it's been a good two-week stretch here for Justin Fields, notably through the air, where he's thrown for eight touchdowns in this two-week stretch. Vikings defense, not much working for them as well. No, and this will be an interesting game because the Vikings, they are blitzing at an absurd rate. So let's see what Fields can do through the air against the blitzing defense. I mean, Connor, have you seen progression from him as a passer the past couple weeks, or is it just because of these defenses he's playing? I've seen progression from the offense. They're actually scheming him up throws, and he's making them, and that's the most important thing. It looked like a very limited offense the first couple weeks, and Fields was a little late on a couple things. At least he's making the scheme throws now. And you know what, Steve and D'Agostino, our producer, screw you for <laughs> when you, like, because they're showing, for people that are just listening, what that is, they showed nothing but Justin Fields highlights against my commanders. You couldn't have picked some other games. It had to be nothing but him just lighting up Washington as well. Steven claiming it's a budget thing. I don't believe it. I think it was an active choice. I hate all of you. Look, the fact, that, the fact of the matter is, is quarterbacks facing the Vikings averaging almost 19.4 19 fantasy points per game. That's eighth most in the NFL. I've also liked the fact that he's starting to use his legs. We were always wondering in the beginning of the year, why isn't he running more? Well, 11 rushing attempts in the two of the past three games. He's had at least 45 rushing yards as well. He's my QB six this week. All right, our next one here, Barry, Joe Burrow, he's got mm -hmm. the Seahawks. And, uh, you know, when we sat down to do the show, I saw a note that Joe Burrow has said he feels healthy. He feels like he's going in the right direction. He looked a lot better. I mean, everything's starting to trend upwards for Joe Burrow. And he, when T. Higgins is out, leans on Jamar Chase more than ever. There's no question about it. Everything's trending up for Joe Burrow. You know, the health, T. Higgins returning to, returning to practice. His portfolio looks great, thanks to his investment in FantasyLife.com, <laughs> of course. But look, here's the thing about Joe Burrow. The volume's been there. 40 or more pass attempts in three of the past four games. Seattle, it's a great matchup here against the Seahawks, too. They allow the third most passing yards per game this season. Three of the four quarterbacks to face the Seahawks this year have thrown for 320 yards or more. And so Burrow, who's throwing a ton, feels fully healthy, gets T. Higgins back, obviously has number one, Jamar Chase. He's my QB7 this week, should have a huge game on Sunday. Also, I don't know if you guys saw this, but DK Metcalf said that Jamar Chase is great, but I think Devin Witherspoon will get the better of him, which is not, I don't think no, you say that. Why are you poking Didn't the bear? anyone I... see what happened to Bryce Harper last night? I, Orlando yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, do oof, not yeah. poke the bear and Jamar Chase, particularly coming off a 192-yard game. I feel like Burrow yeah. will target him. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. always open. Yeah. I love Witherspoon as much as anyone. Uh, That's yes. putting him in a tough spot <laughs> yeah. as a rookie. That puts him in a tough spot. Yeah, why don't, don't talk trash for somebody else? Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, like, you know, he, DK doesn't have to worry about covering yeah. Jamar Chase. Exactly. Oh, yeah. man. You know, this happens too often in the NFL. Uh, last one of my love list guys, by the way, is Trevor Lawrence. We sort of hinted about it when we talked about Calvin Ridley. But back-to-back -back games with 30 rushing yards or more, which is nice. He's starting to use his legs. He's had three games against Indianapolis dating back to last year. He's averaging 20.4 fantasy points per game there. Colts are a bottom 10 defense in terms of most fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks. Give me T-Law as a top 10 QB this week. Jay, a couple others receiving votes. Matthew Stafford comes in as a top 10 quarterback this week for Matthew. Russell Wilson right on the outside looking in as QB 11. And Kirk Cousins QB 12 because of that Bears secondary. Who do you like here? Yeah, I like Kirk Cousins here. I think there's probably going to be an overcorrection against Cousins because Jefferson is out. He's still got a solid offensive line. He's still got TJ Hawkinson, Jordan Addison, KJ Osborne. They can step into bigger roles. And this Bears secondary, I think, is still potentially the worst in football. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, we talked about Stafford when we talked about uh, Puka Nakua in Cooper Cup. We love that matchup against Arizona, who allow the fourth most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. We just saw Joe Burrow get healthy against them. And also, how about Russell Wilson tonight against the Chiefs? Like, two games against Kansas City last year when everything went wrong for the Broncos, and he still averaged 24.6 fantasy points per game. He's had multiple touchdown passes in four or five games this year. So, yeah, you know, I think Russ is a top 12 quarterback play as well. Listen, I know the hate list is led by Deshaun Watson. We don't know if he's going to – move. And we, yeah. We're going to go. He's not going to play. <laughs> well done. There you go. Unbelievable. Am I wrong? You really skewed the yeah. system on but, that I mean, one. listen, listen. Do you, you hate Justin say, Jefferson this week? Yeah, oh, I do. Dev on A-chan? Yeah, you shouldn't, start, you shouldn't start any of them. Yeah. Like, uh, you yeah. can – Stockdale doesn't because it's, Just because it's obvious doesn't mean it's wrong, Jay Croucher. Deshaun it's right, Watson. Right, you know, you go ahead. You start Deshaun Watson on your fantasy team. See how it works out for you. Unbelievable. And you're going to like, you know what? Barry was right. Barry was right. I also am not crazy about Geno Smith. To get, <laughs> he listen, is playing. That, you know, he is. He is playing under 15, uh, under 16 fantasy points. I should say in three or four games this so far. He's actually only had one game with multiple touchdown passes. Cincinnati, a top 10 pass defense so far. They allow the fifth lowest completion rate to opposing quarterbacks as well. There's one quarterback that has scored more than 13 fantasy points against the Bengals this year, and uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, there are only two. 
and they were they were both guys that had 45 or more rushing yards, Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. So unless you think Geno can get to 45 or more rushing yards, which maybe he can, I, I'm out. He, he's my QB 15 this week. I'm not crazy about him in this game. Sneakily, they didn't do anything against the Giants as well on offense. That was a defensive right. win for the Seahawks. Yeah, by the way, speaking of the Giants, real quickly, Daniel Jones not practicing again today. So Tyrod time. tomorrow will be important, but it revenge could be, game. It could be Tyrod, Tyrod <laughs> Taylor revenge game on Sunday Night Football only <laughs> on NBC and Peacock. Tyrod Taylor against his former team, the Buffalo <laughs> Bills. In. You can feel the hate between the two. Tune in for the passion on Sunday Night Football exclusively on NBC and Peacock. We're going to break when we're back. Last call, looking at our best bets for Thursday Night Football right after this. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.